Fernanda, I'm the creative lead for Lush Makeup and I'm here with you today to take you through a journey behind the shades of our lipsticks. We have 21 lipsticks in our collection, all in our newly reformulated castor oil base. And hopefully after this video, you'll not only know a lot more about the wonderful world of Lush Makeup, but also leave with a new favorite Lush lipstick shade. So let's get going. Antananarivo. This is such a fun red shade because it's a glitter lipstick with bits of gold and pink sparkle in there that really only shine through when the lights hit it. You can also layer on top of your favorite lipstick shade, creating your own customizable glitter lipstick. The name Antananarivo comes from the capital of Madagascar, which Rowena told me it was one of her favorite places to ever visit. So she had to put this name on one of her red lipsticks. So next up is Kinshasa, a shade that is very dear to the makeup team's heart because it was named after our very own Rachel, which now does PR for Lush. Kinshasa is the capital of the Democratic Republic of the Congo, which is where Rachel is from. So this was a lovely way of her honoring her hometown. Berlin has a little bit of blue shimmer in there, but it's very imperceptible to the eyes. It's more so when it catches the light, it makes your lips appear more moisturized and plumper, giving a little bit of an extra shine. So obviously Berlin is the capital of Germany and one of the coolest cities in the world. So it, this is our little homage to our team over at Lush Germany. This is Berlin. Next in line is Minsk, a super intense espresso brown shade. It transforms from a rich nude on deeper skin tones to a cool walnut brown on lighter complexions. Minsk is named after the capital city of Belarus. Next shade is Bissau. Bissau is a deep burgundy shade with mahogany undertones. On lighter complexions, it appears as a steep wine color, but if you go towards darker complexions, it really shows up as this rusted red shade. This shade is named Bissau after the capital of Guinea-Bissau, which is called Bissau. <laughs> Next in line is Kish, a warm spiced mahogany shade. It transforms from a terracotta nude on deeper skin tones, and as you go towards fairer skin tones, it shows up more as a chocolatey brown. So Kish was named in honor of Nikki, a former member of the R&D or research and development team for makeup. And Kish is the name of an island in Iran and Nikki is Iranian. So that's where the name comes from. So next up, we're gonna talk about Betadine, a fan favorite, but also one of our best-selling shades. Is it a pink? Is it an antique nude? Well, it's both. It really depends on your complexion. So if you're of a deeper complexion, Betadine is gonna appear as this pale blush pink on your lips. But if your skin is fairer, Betadine is an antique rose nude. Betadine was named after a city in Lebanon and Rowena Vad was traveling throughout Lebanon during the creation of the shade. So that's why it inspired her to give this name to one of the nude shades in the collection. So Dorchester, it's not a brand new shade because it has existed on the former Oxford Street makeup range under the name Boss. And it was such a lovely shade that we had to bring it back on our new reformulated base. It is a red with a lot of warm undertones, which means it can pull quite orange depending on the lighting. The name Dorchester obviously is after the region of Dorchester here in the UK. Next in line is Kigali, a shade that we like to describe as a rose quartz pink because it does have that crystal shimmer and almost metallic finish to it. This shade was also available in the former Oxford Street range under the name Perspective, so if you were a fan of that one, Kigali is the one for you. The name Kigali is named after the capital of Rwanda. So this is Kigali. Next shade is Liverpool. This is a peachy pastel pink shade that has a bit of a story behind it. 
So originally, this shade came in the lip blocks from the former Lush Oxford Street makeup range. And the staff over at Lush Liverpool decided that they adored that shade. So when we were talking about releasing a new collection of lipsticks, they reached out to us and said, hey, can you make this one into a standalone shade? And that's what we did. And we named it after the lovely city of Liverpool. So if you remember Betadine from a couple of swatches ago, Cairo is like a sister shade to Betadine, but it's a bit richer and a little bit warmer. They both look great on all skin tones, but in different ways. So if we're talking about a deeper complexion, Cairo appears as a blushed peach shade. But if you go towards lighter complexions, it's more of a caramel nude. This is Cairo. Next up is Los Angeles the Lush Makeup Take on a Hollywood Movie Star Red. It has a blue undertone, which tends to suit every skin tone, but also fun fact, it can help your teeth appear whiter if that's what you're going for. Los Angeles was named by Caitlin, our Middle East and North Africa retailer in a color workshop with Rowena, and she named it after her hometown of Los Angeles. Ankara is a cool, dusky purple shade that you can choose to layer it up so you can get a very opaque pastel purple on the lips, or you can just do one quick swatch that's just gonna give you a little bit of a purple tint to your lips. The name Ankara comes from the city of Ankara, which is the capital of Turkey. Next shade is Kingston. So if you're a fan of a deep berry shade, Kingston is the one for you. It does have a bit of a glossier and shinier finish, which takes this shade to a more editorial level rather than just another purple lipstick that you're gonna add to your collection. So Kingston was named after the capital of Jamaica. Next shade is La Hoa. So this is a fiery burnt orange shade. This shade was named by Umba Gari, a makeup artist that we worked on multiple occasions. And last year, Umba visited Ro and saw this shade and named it after their hometown in Pakistan. So this is Lahore. Coming up is Luban, a very vibrant pink with a hint of raspberry. The name Luban was in honor of Judo and Aga, our makeup magicians that work at the R&D lab over at Unit 1 and it's a town in Poland from where they're from. Coming up is Manta, a super fun candy bubblegum pink. Manta used to be called Glamorous in the former Oxford Street makeup range, but now it's truly reformulated with our new castor oil base. Also, Manta is named after the city in Ecuador from which we source our taguanets. So this is Manta. Next shade is Lulia. It is a metallic hot pink shade that has a blue shift in it. So really depending on how you move your head into the light, it's really gonna capture all those different nuances between pink and blue. It's a shapeshifter shade and truly unique. Lulia is a town in Sweden, so that's where the name comes from. Next up is Mogadishu, a vibrant, pink berry shade. This is another shade that we call it a layering color in our collection because you can really choose to add just one layer to your lips, adding a vibrant metallic pink shift to your natural lip color, or you can really go bold and layer a couple more times until you get that very purpley shade. Mogadishu is the capital of Somalia and that's where the name comes from. Since the beginning of my Lush makeup journey, Riga was the first shade that I added to my personal collection because I fell in love with it immediately. It's a warm peachy shade with terracotta undertones, which looks beautiful on all complexions. Riga is named after the city, which is the capital of Latvia. So this is Riga. Final shade is Sai Dune. What a lovely way to close this video with one of our most universal shades in the range. It is a deep rusted ochre color that looks amazing on all complexions. 
Saidun is a city in Lebanon, and as I said, Rowena had just returned from a trip to Lebanon when she was creating these lipsticks, so it really inspired her. All right, everyone, I hope you enjoy this journey behind the shades of the Lush lipsticks. We would love to know what your thoughts are on this collection. What is your favorite shade? Sound off in the comments below. And also remember to follow on Instagram at Lush Makeup Team for more sneak peeks and behind the scenes. And also to tag your photos with hashtag Lush Makeup. We'd love to see what you create with our collection. Until next time, bye.